Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. It's 2.05 p.m. on April 1st, 2023 in Fairview, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 10 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.8 kilometers starting by the transit bus stop at West 2nd and Anderson. Then so south on Anderson, west on West 4th, ending my trek by the intersection of West 4th and Balsam. If you would like to support the channel and help me purchase some new equipment, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash Smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. Just down on Anderson Street, over by Granville Island. Passing Carter Motorsports, which is the local Honda dealership. And we're heading south towards 4th Ave. This would be where Anderson Street blends in with uh, 4th Ave. And this would be 4th Ave right here that we're walking along. Looks like the M&J car wash is uh, busy today. So, it's nice to see. They clean both the inside and the outside. So that's one spot you can go if you want your car cleaned. Passing the furniture store called the Full House, it specializes both in vintage and modern furniture. And this would be the Granville Island Auto Center. It has lots of uh, different makes and models of cars available for you, but they do specialize in a bit more high end vehicles as well. High and used. Plan for this walk is just to walk down the busy section of Fourth Ave. And then turn down Balsam Street and head on into Greek Town. Just crossing First Street. There's a slight breeze in the air today. Otherwise, it just seems to be a fairly nice day outside. It's around. Uh, 10 degrees. It was supposed to only get up to 8, so uh, the warmer weather is welcome. Passing by the Granville Island uh, Veterinarian Hospital. And that's open 7 days a week from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the weekends.
4th Ave is a busy street that's full of many stores, many of them which are sports stores. Anything from cycling to board sports to outdoor adventure clothing. And then there's high end boutique shops as well and clothing shops. And then there's a series of restaurants in the area also. This would be one of the off ramps for the Granville uh, Street Bridge. <laughs> it just seems like at West Coast Sports that they always have these ski and board sales on for the same price. There's always 30 to 50 percent off. So they're definitely keying in on the tourists. <laughs> Of course, tourists will come here and stay in this area, mainly around Airbnbs and stuff like that. Enjoy the shops, and uh, the beach season is almost upon us. It's a few months away, and people are already starting to have picnics on the beaches and stuff like that, the warmer weather, so that's one reason people come down here. Also. This is far away from the downtown east side, but still close enough to the downtown and if you want to get over there, you can enjoy it. Passing some of the local bike shops. And board shops. And, of course, there's also a diving store called Rowan's Reef. And that's just another part of the adventure sports that's stores that are available in the area. Cycling and board stuff ports are very popular here in uh, Vancouver. Here, just a short bus ride away from uh, some of the ski hills on the over in North Van and West Van. And then there's also really good skateboarding facilities throughout the greater Vancouver area. Or more. It does ski, snowboarding, and bikes. And you can get electric bikes there too. So it does the whole shebang for you. If that's your jam. This is the intersection of Burrard Street and West 4th Ave. was a time in my life when I was actually a guide for adventure sports. Did a little bit of work actually out here in Vancouver. Um, so that's when I lived back here in Vancouver. That's over 20 years ago now, but uh, <laughs> definitely was a fun time. Did a lot of rock climbing and paddle sports myself, being from Ontario. And paddle sports are also available here in Vancouver just a slightly different <laughs> environment from Ontario where you have a whole lot of freshwater lakes and over here you have the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Every once in a while when you're paddling around you see uh, killer whales and whales and seals and jellyfish <laughs> and all this other stuff and it's just spectacular. <laughs> and that was another life. 
time around and enjoy more of the urban elements of Vancouver. Focusing a little bit more on the people. And I just like to say Vancouver is a vibe. It's just a vibe. So you can see all the different types of stores that are available in the area here. I've seen a few more board shops, of course. Including the West Side Ski Bike and Board Store. And then at the tail end of this section of the block, there is a Mark Work Warehouse. Looks like the local noodle box is open. It's good to see. And Roamers that we're passing right now. It's a place that you can get a a good uh, meal. Here's the Mark's Work Warehouse. <laughs> That's where I got my steel toed boots that I use uh, when I have to go out in the field for work. Got some steel toed Dakota boots with the tarantula grip. I'm actually really happy with them. It is uh, cherry blossom time. I did just film a video over in David Lamb Park for the start of the cherry blossom festival and the trees were just perfect. They timed it perfectly. Um, they were just perfect for the event. So feel free uh, to look at my catalog for that. I'm going to try to get that up before this video, of course. So if you're watching this video, just look back and it'd be the picnic at David Lamb Park for the Cherry Blossom Festival. And the Cherry Blossom Festival, of course, runs throughout the greater Vancouver area and Vancouver itself for the month of April. Besides this being a retail strip, it's also a neighborhood strip, like there's a grocery store here, it's the local Safeway of course, a little more pricey, but if you understand how Safeway works, you can always find good deals and good prices, sometimes competitive even with no frills, but of course Safeway on par is more expensive than a lot of the other stores. It's just nice to see Vancouver right out. Looks like uh, the wind is picking up a little bit and there was some stormy clouds that were settling over North Vancouver earlier that I could see from a distance. So it looks like uh, those clouds are starting to come over here. We are supposed to get some rain later today. so. Hopefully it'll hold off until I'm done this walk, but even, even if it isn't, I'm prepared for that. <laughs> and that wouldn't phase a Vancouverite in any way, shape, or form anyways. I'm gonna keep walking here. So we just crossed Maple Street and we'll continue going west on West 4th Ave.
<laughs> Big dog. Oh Passing yeah, work, hang, take out. It might be called turf. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up on the map. What? And Sushi Nova. And even though there's less sushi shops that are here in Kitsilano on 4th Ave and also on West Broadway in Greektown, it's always good to go and check out the different sushi restaurants because they all seem to have something different. That's unique to just their shop. Here's a local icebreaker store and the root store. Arbuta Street. I'm gonna, gonna just stop. <laughs> That's just me. I just don't want to push it with the camera in my hand. And at Arbuta Street and West 4th Ave, this is the intersection. And if you head in that direction, of course, you'd end up in uh, just outside of Greek Town and in the start of Kitsilano on West Broadway. Just waiting for the light to change. Uh, across the street is a rather large Lululemon. So if you're into Lululemon, that's your jam. It's right there for you. And we'll continue west on West 4th Ave. There's both a men's store for the Lululemon and a women's store. So, uh, covers all sc scopes and genders. Passing ah, Connie's Cookhouse, which is our local Chinese cuisine restaurant in the neighborhood. It's also the Peaceful Restaurant and that will pass over down by uh, Balsam Street. That one's also very good too. That one's a chain though. There's a few other Peaceful Restaurants, including one downtown and one over in Fairview by the Canby, by Canby Street, close to uh, the Broadway City Hall station. Looks like there's a nice full blossoming cherry tree at the end of this street here. Or at the intersection of U and uh, West 4th Ave. So I'll take a peek at that. Wow, look at that. That is a big blossoming cherry tree. That is just beautiful. And there's several of them, look. Just beautiful. Just crossing U Street right now, and we'll continue west on West 4th Ave. This will be the local Arsitec store, and I'm sorry for not pronouncing that right. Never really shopped there, but I do know that their clothing is good quality, so worth checking out if you're into that.
we'll continue. And you can see here, you can see a few more high-end stores like Judith and Charles. The streets of Vancouver seem to be set up with these different resale sectors uh, and strips. Just like you would see in a mall if you were in Ontario. Of course, Ontario is a whole lot colder. Same with Quebec, so they seem to have a whole lot more malls. There's less malls here, and if there are malls, usually in Vancouver the malls are a whole lot smaller. Because of course you have these giant retail strips. <laughs> and people really enjoy walking down. There's also, uh, we're just passing in Whole Foods store, which is even more expensive than, uh, <laughs> more expensive than <laughs> Safeway. Hello. Hi. No Looks like they're giving out hugs to help boost your immune system. So, hug me and get my germs. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we're going to cross Vine Street now and continue on West 4th Ave. And at the end of this block, I'm going to turn around the Peaceful Restaurant and walk down the Boston Street. Uh, or walk down Boston Street to West 4th Ave, or not West 4th Ave, <laughs> to West Broadway, and we'll go from there for all those Torontonians from the beaches area and stuff like that. Here's your local Cobb's Bread. There's Cobb's Bread's all over Vancouver. So if you need your Cobb's Bread fix, it's here. <laughs> and it's all over the place. <laughs> Another good thing to check out is uh, the Chinese uh, bakeries, including the Newtown Bakery in Chinatown. You're just off the hook, and you can find those in like strip malls and plazas too. So it's not just um, in Chinatown. <laughs> you see all the advertisements while they're renovating the side of the building, and just covering them over. Wallpaper paste. <laughs> At least there's some good pictures. And we're approaching the peaceful restaurant here. And that tells me that we're near Balsam Street. And that would be the intersection of Balsam Street and West 4th Ave. So it looks like I'm at the end of my available tape. <laughs> so I'm just going to end it here. <laughs> for you folks. Um, so again, thanks for uh, watching. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you later, folks. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.